Right, well welcome back to the workshop and the title Two Mandolins is slightly misleading this time because in this video I'm really just going to concentrate on one mandolin and I suppose really it was inevitable that the paths that these two mandolins were taking would at some point diverge. So let me show you what I've been up to. So there's a the towel piece now complete for the electric mandolin. It will have a final polish up before it goes out. But yeah, that's essentially it for this stage. And what I do is I cut it out of this piece of extruded um, aluminium. There's no way that you could use, or that I could use, a piece of aluminium this thick and then get this lovely 90 degree bend in it. So that sort of extrusion is obviously the way to go. Um, I design and make my electric towel pieces um, to take ball end strings simply because there's obviously a vast array of um, electric guitar strings for the player to choose from and very few sets of electric mandolin strings um, available. So yeah, ball end strings, electric guitar strings, make up a custom set. That's definitely the way to go as far as I'm concerned with um, an electric mandolin. So as you can see I've been working on the bridge. So the um, base part of it is made from a lovely piece of ebony. Um, I've got the slot routed in here which will take the saddle and of course the um, under saddle transducer. So the wire runs through um, a hole in the base there and that will go into the body. The transducer sits in that slot and then the saddle goes on top of that and this saddle is made from a synthetic material purpose made for nuts and saddles called um, tusk. You notice that the saddle isn't in the middle of the of the bridge. What I like to do is to set it back a, a bit. You find with these kind of floating bridges there's always a tendency for it to want to tip forward and I try to um, compensate for that by having more material in front of the saddle than behind it and I think it gives it that tad more um, stability and the overall kind of design of the bridge is really meant to echo the coils on the blade style pickups that the um, mandolin will have so yeah that's the bridge made um, and uh, on to the next stage. So at the moment I'm getting the action sorted out and what I do is I put a spacer at the 12th fret which maintains a one millimeter gap at the 12th fret and then using feeler gauges I can measure the distance between the, the top of the fret and the bottom of the string and then using the appropriate size file it's a matter of painstakingly getting that height exactly right and of course you've got to take your time and do it really slowly because um, you don't obviously don't want it to go too far so it's not um, it's not it's not a job to rush <coughs> So the nut now is pretty much finished. I'm happy with the action there. Um, it may need some tweaking later on when I've got all eight strings on, but yeah, for the time being, I can declare that done. I've got to adjust the action at the 12th fret, and that's done by um, adjusting the height here at the saddle. So, that so basically, the same procedure as um, at the nut. This is a, a one millimetre and so I can just put a feeler gauge under there and I know that it's one point whatever and um, I'm aiming for 1.1 here. So with the action sorted out, the next thing to do is the intonation. Now obviously 
the intonation can be roughly adjusted by um, moving the position of the bridge. But the fine adjustment needs to be done by filing the saddle itself. So for example, the first strings break right on the front edge of that saddle, um, whereas the seventh and the eighth string, they need to break um, a little bit further back towards, towards actually the back edge of the saddle. So that has to be filed at a slope and you keep doing that until the intonation is, um, is spot on. Right, so the action is sorted out, the intonation is sorted out, and what I'm doing now is just making sure I've got the location of that bridge spot on, because what I've got to do now is take the saddle out, drill through the body for the cable for the under saddle piezo. So um, as, you, as you can imagine, you only have one hit at this, so you've got to get it right. So there you have it. The Piezo transducer, as you can hear, has been um, fitted underneath the, um, <coughs> the saddle there. Very pleased with the sound of that. Um, the action has been um, set up to what I would consider to be pretty much perfection, as has the intonation. So yeah, I think I can confidently declare <coughs> the making, the woodwork stage if you like, of the um, chambered bodied electric mandolin complete. And what I've got to do now is take it completely apart, give it a good clean up again, particularly the front, it gets grubby when you're working on it obviously, and um, <clears throat> yeah, start the finishing process. So very pleased with that, the way it's come out. Um, <clears throat> so, all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Um, and as always, thank you for all of your support and positive comments. They're always very much appreciated. So uh, until the next video, you take care. And yeah, we'll hopefully see you soon. Okay, cheers. Bye.